o saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 2. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Sunog sa barangay Sambagdos, may ulbo pag-usap kagahapon ng adlawa. Pag-asa magtan ni Engon, nga taas gihapon ang temperatura panahon sa adlaw, karong adlawa. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News Ang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami mahatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Gimandoan ni Cebu City Mayor Michael Rama ang Office of the Building Official kon ubo nga susihon ang building di nahug ang 4 anyos nga batang lalaki gikan sa ikabayti siyete nga andana nga misangko sa kamatayon ni ini. Ang mayor ni Mando sa ubo sa pagsusi sa mga safety measures kuna sa mga nga kondominium. Si Konsyal Regalon ni Pasar Osab og Resolusyon nga nag-auhag sa ubo nga mususi sa mga insidente aron masusi kung adun na ba kini mga occupancy permit nga gi-issue sa mga nga unit. Lakip sa ipasusi ang design nga maoy na ingan sa kamatayon sa bata aron malikayan ang susama nga insidente sa umabot unya nga mga panahon. Human sa nakong sunog di adtong nga lunis sa barangay Sambagdos dakbayan sa Subbo nausba na usab sa pagkasunog kagahapon may na lang nga wa makadako ang kayo nga base sa investigasyon sa kabumbiruhan nagsugod sa panimay ni Ruel Diretso sa sitio Brupa Sambagdos mga launa 23 sa hapon pipila ka mga residente ang mibalik sa ilang nga nasunugan nga panimay pamasin nga duna pa sila masalbar nga mga butang dali ra usab nga napaong ang kayo sa kabumbiruhan nga nakamu na og kadaot sa panimay ni Diretso nga moabot lang sa kapin 15 mil ka pesos. Wa pa matino kuno sa hinungdan sa pag-ulbo pag usab sa sunog. Gideklarar na usab nga state of calamity ang barangay Sambagdos. State Weather Bureau ni Ingon nga ataas ang temperatura sa panahon sa adlaw nga magpadayon kini da sa ting init sa El Nino phenomenon. Si weather specialist nga si Jomer Eclarino sa Regional Services Division sa Pag-asa ni Ingon nga nilabay lang ang mga pag-uwan o mga influensahan sa Easterlis sa panahon sa gabi. Ang Easterlis mao ang hangin nga gikan sa silangan o kasagaran sa mga tropical nga rehiyon sama sa Pilipinas nga nagdaog init o yamog nga panahon sa panagsa nga mga pag-uwan. Dugang pa ni Clarino nga ang sugbo ni Tala o 37 degrees Celsius nga heat index kagahapong at lawa. Nagkayusa ang managlahing sektor aron ipanawagan ang ilang papakigbatok sa charter change sa gobyerno. Gipaagi ang ilang panawagan sa Osaka Forum nga gipahigayon sa Basilica Minori del Santo Niño Pilgrim Center. Ang kasayuran ihatod sa ito ang Bipsocom intern nga si Clyde Delda. Mibarug alang sa panaghiusa ang Cebu Movement Against Charter Change and Tyranny aron dili na tugutan ang pag-implementar ni Ini sa nasud. Matod sa gipadalang pamahayag nga ang gidusong charter change, musangput sa kagubot di inapiktado ang ekonomiya. Lakip sa mga conveners nga nipirma sa maong unity statement, mao si Arsobispo si Palma, kinsang daan lang nakigbaton sa tsa uban ang kaobispuhan sa nasud. Gibarugan sa grupo nga kinahanglang magpadayon ang 1987 Philippine Constitution nga maong gisunod og nakahatag og hapsay nga dagan sa paggobyerno. Matod ni former Chief Justice Davide nga dili maayong lakang ang charter change aron pagsulbad sa nasinating problema sa nasud. So knowing very well this uh, constitution of the heart of Manila, so I know where it will stand and uh, any amendment that to anything that would go beyond or even uh, supposedly to implement when actually it is not implementing would really be against my heart, mind and body. Dugang paniini nga mas maayo nga nakasulbad ang mas dako nga problema lakip ang korupsyon, 
mas poverty o uban pa. Gipadangot usab sa Orders of Friars Minor or OFM, Reverend Father Alan Jose Arcibuche ang ilang pagsuporta sa maong hugpong. Gibutyag po ni Father Arcibuche ang ilang pagsuporta sa mga plano sa CBCP kauban ng OFM. Panting uh, i-maximize pa ang mga nakasulat diha para sa pag-support sa mga farmers, pag-support sa mga ibang mga sektor aron sila mabuhi. Kini mao ang higayon alang sa pagpreserba sa demokrasya sa nasod og nang hinaot nga kini matagamtaman pa sa musunod nga henerasyon. Clyde Delda, Bipsucom Intern, CCTN News. Dag din sa barangay Labango ni Dakbayan sa Sugbog ibungkag sa mga sakop sa PDA 7. Pito ka mga tao ang nadakpan. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. Drug den nga namutang sa barangay Labangon sa Regbe Sugbo ang gibungkag sa mga sakop sa Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency 7 o Bansa Labangon Police Station alas 4.26 gahapon sa hapon nga maresulta sa pagkasikop sa pito ka mga tao lakip na ang drug den maintainer. Ang target sa operasyon sa PDA 7 mao si Ray Luna alias Tata, 43 anos nga mo'y nagpadagan sa balay suyupanan. Lakip sa nadagpan ang naatlan nga naghingo sa gituang Cebu sa sulod sa drug den nga mo silang Gestoni Pineda, 34 anos, pedicab driver. Angelo Villasera, 31 anos, Rohil Leonisas, 35 anos, garbage collector, Jan Cabido, 26 anos, Ruel Alquizar, 40 anos, pedicab driver, Og Janel Quijano, 23 anos, pedicab driver, at also operasyon na sakmit sa mga operatiba, ang upat ka pakite sa gituang Shabu, na doon ay gibugaton, nga 12 gramos, na doon estimated market value, nga 81 mil pesos, og ang buybas money, og drug paraphernalia, Matunilia Alcantara, influencer officer sa PDS7, nga kipabos nila sa tulog kasimana ng monitoring, una nila lagi pay gayon aga operation sa mga drug den ho masira makadawat og kasayuran gikan sa usa ka concerned citizen gikong nga makabalig ya si Luna og 30 gramo sa ituang sabu matag simana din ang mupalit nini dito ra usamba gamiton sa sulod sa drug den kada pasa sa section 5 6 7 11 og 12 article 2 sa Republic Act 9165 ang ipasaka nga kaso sa PDA 7 sa mga dinakpan Arnold Bosamante si si Teru Gibuksa na sa mga dagkong opisyal sa Lapu-Lapu City ang mga infrastructure projects sa Olanggo Island na naglangkob kini sa eskwilahan o satellite offices aron matabangan ang mga nanimuyo sa isla. Ang kasayuran ni Hatod sa ang Bipsocom intern nga si F. Arindayin. Gidungan sa mga opisyal sa Lapu-Lapu City ang inauguration ceremony sa mga infrastructure sa isla sa Olanggo ni Adtong Biyernes. Pinanguluhan kini nilang Mayor Junard Ahong Chan, Kongresista Cindy King Chan, uban mga opisyalis sa LGU. Giablihan nila ang mga bagong classroom sa Suba Elementary School sulod sa bagong four-story nga building. Apil usab ang activity center sulod sa Tungsan Elementary School. Samtang giablihan na sa publiko ang mini city hall roads, bagong city veterinarian satellite office o intumbent sa kung lugnganan sa mga kahayupan sa barangay Talima. Matod ni Mayor Chan, magituyo ang mga baguhay lang na human ng mga infrastructure projects aron maatiman ang mga taga Olanggo Island. Kabahin kini sa tinguha nilang mas doola ang serbisyo nga sa mga upunganon ilabina katong mga nanimuyo sa isla. Maong nahitabo ang ilang mga proyekto tungod sa hugot ng suporta sa mga opisyal. Ang nakanindot mga kegsunan kung ang mayor o ang kongresista ang bisi mayor o mga konsyales kaliado pariha o direksyon pariha o tumong na ang kayuhan sa ito ang syudad mauni ang bunga karon sa panagyusa sa tibuok na itong leader F. Arenda yan Dipsacom intern CCTN News Mokan to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sangan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hantod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukan live sa CCTA Chapel. Daghang salamat.
message of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. celebrate this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration, for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill, and for our personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin and full senate of the children of Israel and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. 
But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. We see in this passage, brothers and sisters, the mission of Jesus. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. It is the mission of Jesus not to condemn, but to save. And this is concretized by the resurrection narratives, brothers and sisters. When Jesus tried to appear to his disciples, that appearance for me is an act of saving them. And in that way, Christ tries to restore something. Something is lost. He wants to reconnect because of this very special relationship he had with his disciples. For me, that desire of Jesus to reconnect, to restore the relationship, is a kind of saving. And brothers and sisters, during our baptism, we are one with Jesus in doing this mission of saving. This is one of the points that I want to emphasize during a, when I preside over a sacrament of matrimony that to the couple, no? Please make it a point to save the marriage, not to easily go to a very easy way of separation. Try to save try to restore the beauty of marriage. And again, during baptism, we are one with this mission of Jesus. So let us ask ourselves, do I make an effort of restoring whatever relationship that I am into? Am I also capable of saving this relationship this friendship, this work, this family, this community where I belong, am I one with Jesus in saving it? Am I on that kind of track? Or is it easy to condemn others, not to be part of my family, of my community? As we receive Jesus a little later, during, the, during communion, I hope and pray that we will truly be one with him in doing saving or salvific actions, not condemning others. Mm. 
God's love impels us to come out towards the light so that we may have life in His Son, who has overcome the power of darkness, sin, and death. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. May the whole world know the love of God who sent His Son to us even when we were in sin and were unworthy of His love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May those who remain in darkness of sin and unbelief may run toward the light of faith and be saved, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we love one another for love comes from God. May we always remember how much God loves us so that we can comfort others and remind them of God's love, we pray. May love enable us to see the sorrow behind people's smile, the love behind their anger, and the reason behind their silence, we pray. May our love be patient and kind and does not rejoice over wrongdoing, and bears and endures all things, we pray. In silence, let us offer our personal intentions. God, our Father, you have created us out of love and redeemed us with the same love. Increase your love in us that we serve you and our neighbor with our whole heart and strength. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and your resurrection, and then you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I say the word and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Acts of Consecration to St. Joseph, O glorious patriarch and patron of the Church, O virgin spouse of the Virgin Mother of God, O guardian and virginal father of the Word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian, and my protector. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the Holy Family, accept me, I beseech you, though utterly unworthy to be a member of your Holy House. Present me to your Immaculate Spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one and help me not to offend God in any way. O my spiritual father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home and all my affairs and undertakings forsake me not but adopt me as a servant and child of the holy family watch over me at all times but especially at the hour of my death console and strengthen me with the presence of jesus and mary so that with you i may praise and adore the holy trinity for all eternity amen holy mary saint joseph noble offspring of david Light of patriarchs, spouse of the mother of God, chaste guardian of the virgin, foster father of the son of God, zealous defender of Christ, head of the holy family, Joseph most just, Joseph most chaste, Joseph most prudent, Joseph most courageous, Joseph most obedient, Joseph most faithful, Mirror of patience, lover of poverty, model of workmen, glory of domestic life, guardian of virgins, pillar of families, comfort of the afflicted, hope of the sick, patron of the dying, terror of demons, protector of the holy church. He has made him lord of his household. Let us pray, O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever, the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, 
Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. 